anybody out here um, uh, in America, which is pretty much everybody here in America that I'm speaking to, <laughs> um, that thinks this story uh, with the Premier League doesn't concern them, uh, I would say to you, you're out of your mind. You need to be paying attention to what's going on uh, with this story uh, over in the UK, in Spain, in Italy, in Germany, and in France. And what's going on there could wash upon these shores if it works, I'll tell you that. Certainly <laughs> because there are a handful of North American sports owners that are at the forefront of all this. And I said it yesterday, and I'll say it again here. Um, college football is perfect. It's a perfect perfect situation set up for a Super League scenario to wash upon this shore. Don't think it's going to happen in Major League Baseball or any of the uh, organized closed leagues as they're referring to it right here. By that, that means that somebody can't come into it uh, and work their way into it because they have come from a lower league up into this league or from this league getting relegated out of it. That's the way it works over in the Premier League, for instance. That's called an, a non-closed league or what have you, open league. Uh, I don't think it will happen here anytime soon for, for our organized North American sports, but I truly do believe... There has to be a college football mind somewhere, whether it's an athletic director, a conference commissioner looking to ward something off or perhaps even break away, lead the breakaway, potentially a school president somewhere, thinking to themselves, well, let me pay attention to what's going on over there. Let's see how this works out. Let's see how it all works out with fans who are freaking out and swearing to swear off of their favorite team that their town has been supporting for a century or saying that they'll never follow this team um, that, uh, that will move somewhere else and, uh, and seeing how it all plays out. I really do believe that to my core that it's entirely possible that the top four teams in every conference across this football-loving nation breaks off and starts their own league. Got to pay attention to what's happening over there. And what's happening over there is recriminations and anger and seeing if maybe, just maybe, the owners of these teams that are staring in the face a $400 million per team payday will turn that down to go back to the system that they announced on Sunday they were breaking away from. That they will go back into the current construct that English football fans certainly love. That they will essentially, like Costanza, show up for work the next day like something didn't happen the day before. And maybe, just maybe, that will eventually happen because they see the hue and cry of the fan base. They do see the, you know, pl prop planes flying overhead the, over the pitch at the Premier League games that are going on right now, like happened at Liverpool yesterday, saying, you know, to turn away from this Super League. Maybe they'll, they'll hear the, the outcry and think it's not possible to accept the $400 million check that J.P. Morgan Chase is cutting them. And I'll tell you what's probably happening right now, and this is something to keep an eye on. Who is the television network that's going to raise their hand saying, we'll televise that? Because without a television contract, J.P. Morgan Chase this summer will be to these owners, you said that you're going to start playing this summer. Where? On whose channel? How much revenue is coming in? Margin call, Mortimer. Yeah, exactly. You know, and so this is what's happening across in the UK. And again, we'll talk about the draft on this show. We'll talk about Steph Curry going off, the NBA playoffs coming up. I understand there's lots going on on this continent, but what's going on over there is definitely something that some people in this continent are taking a look at to see what's going on over there. Can we pull this off over here? And I said this yesterday, and we put the video out, and I understand the number of... By the way, I, I love the fact that we have an audience yeah. over in Europe. Absolutely. Whether it's through our 
old podcast friends that stick with us or they're listening to our podcast, they're seeing our videos on YouTube, the number of people saying, I don't get it, the get the it that I'm not getting is that fans will stick with their teams that have been left out of the Super League in the Premier League. Rich, you don't understand. We're we're not we're not we're just saying good riddance to those people. We still have our team. We're never gonna we're never gonna leave them. I'm not saying you're gonna leave them. What I'm saying is whatever's left over of the Premier League might not have enough revenue for you to have a team. This is about money. This is about money. It might not be about fan fervor. It should be. That's the way, obviously, I think it should. And I understand also. They're like, Rich, you don't understand. The reason why we're also pissed off at Chelsea and Arsenal is what the hell have they won? They're now going to this new Super <laughs> League. No, I don't, you know, what the hell have they won? Right. Just for instance. They're going to this new Super League to avoid getting relegated. They don't want to, they don't want to deal with the competition. They're running scared. And to my response is, that's true. But the reason why they don't want to be relegated or have any sort of issue with relegation, and that's not what they're, I don't think, again, I'm not a tremendous expert at this. I don't feel that they've been in fear fear of being relegated. They've been in danger of being relegated. If they miss the Champions League, which is the top four teams in the Premier League get to go play for the Champions League, where they play against the champions of all the other leagues in Europe, from which two of those leagues have been poached of their top teams to create the Super League, and France and Germany saying we're not interested yet when there's all them Euros on the table. They own these owners. Yes, they 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 want to be in the Champions League. And so if they can go to the Super League where they play in a Champions League and make more money just to play in this Super League than you would make Winning the Champions League. If they can do that and have that cost certainty rather than compete and run the risk of not making the Champions League and thus lose the revenue, it's about money. Of course they're going to go run and create their own league. Keep an eye on all that. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.